Big breaking news coming in. Novak Djokovic loses visa appeal in Australian court. The tennis world number one officially out of the Australian Open. That's the big question. Is he out or is he not? We'll get those answers for you in just about a bit. Australian federal court rejects uh, Djokovic's last-ditch appeal to remain in Australia. Tennis star to be deported from Australia. Massive setback coming in for Djokovic. Uh, Djokovic also now facing a three-year visa ban. That's a big setback coming in for Novak Djokovic at the moment. Big question is, is he out of the Australian Open or not? Australia is going to be deporting Novak Djokovic. That's the big breaking news. If we have Rahul Rawat with us, let's go straight across to Rahul Rawat. Rahul, give us a little bit of background of his, this entire visa saga when it comes to Novak Djokovic and his vaccination as well. Uh, it's a massive setback coming in for Djokovic because he's now going to be deported from Australia. The bigger question here also is, is he officially out of the Australian Open or is he going to be playing it and then get deported? Well, absolutely, uh, Chetty. His uh, hopes of defending his title at the Australian Open and, uh, you know, becoming uh, the world's uh, greatest or, you know, somebody with the most number of uh, Grand Slam titles are over. He is going to be deported and uh, he is not going to defend his Australian Open title. In fact, Australian Open kicks off uh, from tomorrow. That's Monday in Australia. And, uh, you know, what has happened in the last few weeks, on 5th of January, he came to uh, Australia and uh, a day uh, before that, he had posted a, uh, a, a, an image and a message that said that uh, he has got a medical exemption from the Australian government or the Victorian government uh, in Melbourne. So, he comes there, he was questioned for eight hours and, the, uh, you know, the border force, the Australian border force was not convinced uh, about the paperwork that he had submitted and uh, he was uh, put into a detention in a detention uh, hotel in Melbourne. Uh, thereafter, his visa was rejected. And then uh, uh, Djokovic and his lawyers appealed before a court and uh, subsequently his uh, visa cancellation was again revoked. Now, the Australian immigration minister has a discretionary power that he can revoke anybody's visa on uh, you know public interest and that is exactly what uh, Alex Hawke, uh, the immigration minister of uh, uh, Australia had done. Now there are a lot of other things also, you know, he had submitted the paperwork, he had uh, lied about his uh, travel history, you know, he was uh, COVID positive in December, still he broke the isolation protocol. So there are so many things that he has lied uh, about in that uh, hmm. uh, on that all that paperwork that he had done and now he has blamed it uh, on his uh, agent he is saying that it was an error of judgment so a lot of things and it's it has uh, actually hit his uh, reputation also uh, uh, pretty embarrassing for somebody who is uh, considered to be one of the greatest if not the greatest of at least this generation in the last 10 uh, in the last one decade so, uh, Djokovic now will have to be deported. He will again be sent to uh, to an immigration detention centre. And you mentioned one thing that, uh, you know, once you are deported uh, in Australia, that is what uh, they say, the rules say, that you will be denied entry or returning to Australia. You cannot return to Australia for the next three years, which means that there is a possibility that once Djokovic is deported, he may not come back to Australia to play the Australian Open for the next three years. All right, uh, that's a big development coming in. Rahul, I request you to stay on with us because I'm sure all the tennis fans out there would want to know more about this story that is just coming in at the moment. For now, Novak Djokovic will be deported, is officially out of the Australian Open.